What's up guys, Will Mitchell here. I have an amazing video for you today. Right now, I'm in the southern end of Belize in Placentia, and today what we're gonna do, we're gonna meet up with one of our Remax brokers, Chris Appleby, and we're gonna go to a $5 million private island. It's gonna be amazing. Come with us and check this out, guys. So Chris, tell us a little bit about where we are here. We are at the mouth of the Placentia Lagoon. So we've got the peninsula here, yep. and Placentia, Sunset Point, Little Harvest Key right there which is um, only about a quarter of it, a quarter half of an acre, but uh, it rents for uh, $2,500 a night. Beautiful. And we've got Harvey Ski over there, which is a port for the Norwegian cruise lines. Well, here we go, guys, on our way to the private islands. here guys we're at Saddle Key uh, the island itself has two larger units that are 2,400 square feet two smaller units on the east side over here obviously it's called Saddle Key because it's shaped like a saddle simple stuff guys we're yep. about 16 miles from Placentia and we're gonna take a walk around right now and show you guys what the island looks like the whole island is off-grid everything runs self-sustainably we're going to take you around and see some of the systems they have here on north saddle key that allows it to not have to have any power from the mainland or any you know water plant or anything like that we're going to show you all the systems they have here it's all concrete we have uh, underneath we have uh, 40,000 gallon of uh, water tanks. Okay. So we have plenty of water to, to store. And on top of that, we have the solar panels. Okay. So, um, yeah, we are absolutely, completely self sufficient out here. You're off the grid 100%. Yeah. So this is uh, the, the water maker system uh, that we have. Hasn't been used for, for many, many years because uh, we store so much rainwater into those tanks that I was talking about. And uh, the cool thing is that uh, here we have a UV filtration system that uh, has a hydroviolet filtration system. Mm -hmm. So all the water distributed on the island go through this system. So the water out here is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is the backup generator room. The island runs on solar, but in case of you know emergencies, you're not getting a lot of sun, you've got the backup generator here. All the units here are built up to Hurricane Cat 4 standards. We're going to take a walk through and look at all the units, but the, the island has sustained you know, itself through multiple storms. It's really built to the top standards. Everything is top of the line here. So we're going to take a look at that now. Con concrete friction uh, piles uh, that goes 40 feet down. 40. 40, 40 feet, feet down. To bedrock? Yeah. Wow. So they drilled a hole 40 feet down and filled it with the concrete and steel. After when we have dolphins swimming in here, yeah. he's the first one that jumps on the dock out, oh, wow. chasing them. Yeah. Now let's see. See stuff. Now this is the biggest jaw-dropping thing you'll see, guys. Look at the view, the view right here. You see the mountains. Just unbelievable. You see that construction here? That's a 1.2 ton steel bar with sprinters going out. That's the reason why it's designed like it is. 
that goes out to the corners and those corners there are again hooked up to those concrete piles 40 feet down in the ground mm -hmm. okay. with stainless steel rods. So the whole house is really stable. Yeah. And you can, now we have just had a hurricane out here and uh, you can look into the corners and you can see if you find any cracks no cracks yeah. or anything like that. It's just rock solid. Rock solid. Yeah. Everything is built according to uh, Hurricane Factor 4 or better. Those glass doors, every panel, every single panel here is thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. So on top of here, we have another steel bar that goes all the way uh, with a weight of uh, 2,000 2, pounds, yeah, 2,000 pounds to make everything stable. So that's the reason why you can move it like this. You have uh, the bedrooms on each side of the house, so you have some privacy. And uh, here is the bathroom. Guys, this is the guest house at the very end here. It's a two bedroom on the northern coastline, 70 feet off from here. I was just talking to Frank, the caretaker. He says you can go fishing and it's a, it's a drop from there where there's some amazing fish to catch. You can go snorkeling just unbelievable so right off the coast of the island here on the northern end just fantastic fishing and uh marine life that's it that's north saddle key you saw the whole amazing beautiful island here if you have any questions about it shoot me an email i'm more than happy to chat about it guys and we're looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you down here in paradise guys thanks again for watching the video if you haven't already and if you're looking at acquiring a property down here go to amazon and check out our book the investor's guide to belize real estate in it we detail all the things you would want to know if you're looking to acquire a property down here in belize aside from that subscribe to the channel guys we're doing weekly videos and we really hope to hear from you in the near future have a great day and we hope to see you in belize